Welcome, Awakening Hearts, to Mindful Mastery. I'm Denny Van. Today, I want to talk about the illusion of spiritual superiority and taking a closer look at false spirituality and the common misconceptions surrounding spirituality and how some individuals use it as a means to feel superior over others. As humans, we often seek external validation for our spiritual growth. We'll enroll in courses, attend ceremonies, and read books to feel closer to the divine. However, true spirituality lies within us. There's a poem, the passage below I'm going to read, beautifully highlights this fact. It reminds us that spirituality is not about what we do, but how we live our lives. It's about accepting ourselves and those around us with love and compassion. We cannot claim to be spiritual if we still insult our bodies or judge others based on their actions or beliefs. True spirituality requires inner work, forgiving enemies, apologizing when needed, being loyal to friends and family members. It is easy to get caught up in the external trappings of spirituality, practicing yoga or meditation regularly, attending ancestral ceremonies, or reading books on esoteric topics. But these are just tools that can help us connect to our inner selves. They are not a substitute for genuine self-awareness and acceptance. So let's ask ourselves, how well do I know myself? Do I accept who I am? Am I a kind and compassionate person toward those around me? Have I forgiven my enemies? These questions will help guide us toward a more authentic expression of spirituality, one that comes from within rather than from outside sources. And this poem is by an unknown author, and it goes like this. A false spirituality. Don't tell me about your Reiki courses. Tell me if you're already if you've already accepted your body. Have you stopped insulting it? Don't tell me about your holistic ceremonies. Tell me how well you got along with your partner. Do they respect each other? Don't tell me about your regressions to past lives. Tell me how much you live your life in the present. Do you like your life? Don't tell me about your themes. Tell me how well you get along with your parents. Do you value them? Don't tell me how many books you've already read. Tell me how much you know about your children. Have you already told them that you love them? Don't tell me that you pick up the garbage from the street. Tell me you already took the garbage out of your head. Have you stopped judging others? Don't tell me that you climb mountains. Tell me how you get along with your brothers. Have they already hugged each other? Don't tell me about your yoga. Tell me how you get along with your friends. How loyal are you? Don't tell me about your ancestral ceremonies. Tell me you've already forgiven your enemy. Have you already apologized? Don't tell me how many times you meditate a day. Tell me how much you know about yourself. Do you accept how you are? Don't tell me that you have a connection with the astral world. Tell me how well you have a connection With this world, do you like how you lead your life? Spirituality is not something that can be smelled, seen, rented, bought, read, studied, or taught. Spirituality is something that you already have. It is something that you feel, that you perceive, 
that you live. Now, tell me how spiritual you are. Author unknown. False beliefs can be a major hindrance to one's spiritual growth. These false beliefs are often deeply ingrained in our minds and can lead us astray from the path of self-discovery and enlightenment. It may stem from childhood experiences, cultural conditioning, or social norms that have been internalized over time. To overcome false beliefs, it is essential to first identify them. This requires introspection and self-awareness. One must examine their thoughts and actions closely to understand what underlying beliefs are driving them. Once identified, these false beliefs should be challenged through critical thinking and reflection. It is important to question how valid these beliefs are by seeking evidence that supports or contradicts them. Another way to overcome false beliefs is through mindfulness practices such as meditation or yoga. These practices help individuals become more aware of their thoughts and emotions, enabling them to recognize when they are being driven by false beliefs. Additionally, Seeking guidance from spiritual teachers or mentors can also aid in overcoming false beliefs. They can provide valuable insights based on their own experiences and knowledge that can help individuals break free from limiting belief patterns. Identifying and challenging false beliefs is crucial for spiritual growth. Through mindfulness practices, critical thinking, reflection, and seeking guidance from wise teachers, we can gain freedom from limiting belief systems that hold us back on our journey toward greater awareness and understanding of ourselves as well as the world around us. The Inner Journey True spirituality is an inner journey that requires introspection and self-reflection. It is a process of discovering the depths of our being, understanding ourselves better, and cultivating compassion toward ourselves and others. This journey begins with asking important questions about self-knowledge and compassion. To embark on this journey, we must first acknowledge that false beliefs can hinder our spiritual growth. These beliefs may be rooted in societal conditioning or personal experiences, but they limit our ability to connect with our true selves. False beliefs can manifest as negative thought patterns, limiting beliefs about ourselves and others, or a lack of understanding about interconnectedness of all beings. Overcoming these false beliefs requires us to engage in inner work, to look within ourselves honestly and without judgment. We must ask ourselves difficult questions such as, what are my core values? How do I perceive myself? Do I hold any biases or prejudices against certain groups? By doing so, we begin to unravel the layers of conditioning that have shaped us into who we are today. Self-compassion also plays a crucial role in this journey. As we uncover aspects of ourselves that may be uncomfortable or challenging to confront, It's essential to treat ourselves with kindness and empathy rather than criticism or shame. Cultivating self-compassion helps us develop greater acceptance for both our strengths and weaknesses while fostering resilience during times of difficulty. True spirituality lies within each one of us waiting to be discovered through introspection and compassionate self-reflection. By acknowledging false beliefs that hinder spiritual growth and engaging in inner work 
with kindness toward oneself, individuals can unlock their potential for deeper connection with themselves and others on a spiritual level. I understand the importance of genuine spirituality and how it can be hindered by certain beliefs. One such belief is holding on to false ideas about ourselves or the world around us, which can prevent us from experiencing true growth on a spiritual level. To overcome these limiting beliefs, we must first recognize them for what they are, illusions that keep us stuck in patterns of thoughts and behaviors that no longer serve our higher purpose. I'm going to read that again. To overcome these limiting beliefs, we must first recognize them for what they are, illusions that keep us stuck in patterns of thought and behavior that no longer serve our higher purpose. This requires inner work, including self-reflection and introspection to gain greater self-knowledge and compassion for ourselves and others. True spirituality lies within each one of us, waiting to be discovered through this process of inner exploration. By asking important questions about who we are at our core and what matters most to us in life, we can begin to uncover our deepest values and beliefs. From there, we can align ourselves with a more authentic way of being that honors our true nature. Another critical aspect of genuine spirituality is accepting where you are in life right now, rather than seeking refuge in past lives or future fantasies. It's easy to get caught up in regrets over past mistakes or worries about what might happen tomorrow, but doing so only distracts you from the present moment, the only time when real change can occur. By embracing our current circumstances with gratitude and acceptance, you open yourself up to new possibilities for growth and transformation. Instead of dwelling on what could have been or what might be someday down the line, focus on making positive changes today that will bring you closer to your goals. Embracing one's current situation with acceptance is essential for achieving genuine spirituality as it allows individuals to make positive changes towards their goal. It necessitates inner work such as self-reflection leading toward gaining greater knowledge about oneself and developing empathy toward others. Thank you for listening. Mindful Mastery is a reader-supported publication. Do subscribe. Thank you for being on this journey with me and keep being amazing.